he found that all the pins were in the same 12 spots for the most part. And even more amazingly, these 12 spots were all equally distant from each other. When you connect the dots, you form a geometric object called an icosahedron. Would you like to see what it looks like? Of course. First of all, this is the Bermuda Triangle. And you can see this is where the Atlantis artifacts were found down here. So they were right near a high energy zone. Here are the 12 vile vortices around the world. Also, you have the North Pole and the South Pole, which are not shown here. When you see the geometry, this is what it looks like. So each of these points represent a crossover between dimensions. Now we know that Dan Burrish has said that in this area here, a Stargate technology was being used. It was built right next to a pyramid, an ancient pyramid. And with it, he could open a wormhole to another location. Notice that one of the vortexes is right in the Himalayas. Also notice that one here is in the central part of Africa. When you have one of these on land, you have a very interesting area. This area over here is called the Devil's Sea. Japan has officially declared this a disaster area. It is illegal to sail a boat or fly an airplane through this area in Japan. Japan sent their own team out to investigate the problem and they all disappeared. It may also be that dinosaurs are coming through from the past by these vortexes. And this may account for many ancient legends of sea monsters as they would sail over to America. I just talked about this recently on the radio, Myth or Logic. And my website is divinecosmos.com and you can download that show. Now these three Russian scientists actually discovered a bigger part of the global grid. They discovered that over 4,000 ancient sites, every single one they found was on this grid. This is what the grid looks like that they discovered. It has all the points that Ivan Sanderson discovered and then many others. This point right here is affecting many things that are happening in Papua New Guinea. There have been many sightings of a pterodactyl in Papua New Guinea. It has a 25-foot wingspan. And when it first comes through the vortex, it glows orange and red. It appears that the same vortex that's doing this used to be most active up here in England. And this is where the legend of the fire-breathing dragon comes from. If these pterodactyls get hungry, they do attack human beings. This also explains the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. More importantly, the Earth is structured by these energy grids. This is exactly where you see the mid-Atlantic volcanic ridge. When you look at this map, you can even see more clearly how the continents are structured by the lines. Notice that England is exactly on the line here. You can also see how Rio de Janeiro is being pushed in by this node here. Every one of these points has strange effects that will happen. And this is a science that is not based on electromagnetic energy. Again, the Russians call it torsion fields, and torsion means spiraling. You can also see that some of the island chains appear to be formed by this grid. Here's another example, which you can see here. Notice that the, the coastline is also formed along this circle, Alaska, Kamchatka, and China. The Germans have a legend of what's called Krebs houses. Does anybody know that? This was discovered in the 1920s by German dowsers. They discovered that in certain houses people would live in, they'd always get cancer. And their dowsing rods revealed that two rivers would cross underneath the house, under the ground. I had a man from Poland at one of my conferences recently, and he was telling me that it's a really bad idea to use heating that has water pumping through your floor because that flowing water can drain energy out of your body. So the neighboring houses around these Krebs houses did not have crossing water streams under the ground. So again, can we prove that these ancient sites were harnessing a usable energy? We do have the proof because the Russians built pyramids, and there is amazing research that has been done from these pyramids. You can see how big the people are compared to this pyramid right here. It's built out of fiberglass and PVC pipe and some very phenomenal energy effects happen inside. When the workman was trying to build the top, he would get sick and they had to keep changing the workers. 
You can also put a battery up here and it will take on a massive electrical charge. Here's another pyramid example from the ground. And here you can see the PVC pipes and the fiberglass facing from the inside. They found that when they built these pyramids over oil wells, that they became 25% more productive. And they also were 25% less contaminated, the oil that came out. Other examples were built in the countryside, but it still has a very powerful effect. So again, oil well productivity would go way up. They found that they would have highly substantial healing effects of any diseased organism that was put in the pyramid. In one experiment, they used white mice from the laboratory. And they gave these mice an injection of typhoid fever. The injections would kill 60% of the mice in the laboratory. If you take the same mouse and put it in the pyramid, only 6% of them die. If you give a mouse cancer, it will develop hardly any tumors inside the pyramid. Chemicals that cause cancer will actually not be cancerous inside the pyramid. They change their composition. If you put agricultural seeds inside the pyramid, they grow plants 400% bigger. I already told you that there's strong electrical activity at the top of the pyramid. But this is very interesting, what we're about to say next. Instead of big earthquakes, you get lots of little ones that don't cause any damage. They also found that there was a giant circle of energy that was created in the atmosphere around the pyramid, hundreds of miles wide. And all <coughs> severe storms and weather would go around this big circle, not through it. The Russians understand that you can control the weather with torsion fields. And the U.S. also has technology that can do this to some degree, but not as good as the Russians. Do you remember that in Michigan, in the U.S., that a, a bridge spontaneously fell down and collapsed? One of the things you can do with these fields is cold melting of metal. Earthquakes are also used as a form of covert warfare. But the important part to remember is that you generate torsion fields. We are told from esoteric sources that the reason why we're having these earth changes is us. It's the sickness of our minds projecting into the earth. The same energy that can heal you can heal the earth. And there are many studies that show that human beings can heal each other with the power of the mind. In another experiment, pyramid-charged salt and pepper was fed to 5,000 prisoners in selected jails in Russia. There was no other changes to their environment except for that. Their attitude and behavior had a profound improvement. There was also a substantial increase in their recovery from alcohol and drug addiction. Unfortunately, I have to change this slide because we now know this was a mistranslation. There is a special type of granite that looks like salt and pepper in the rock. So uh, we know that they built jail cells out of this granite that was from the pyramid. It was mistranslated as salt and pepper. But the rock is what had the power emanating from it. But they didn't eat it. Didn't no, they didn't eat the rocks. <laughs> the rocks were used as a building material in the jail cells. So think about the fact that this energy that makes us happy is also an energy that heals the world. The energy that makes us happy cures cancer. This proves that human consciousness and the consciousness of the earth are connected. It also proves that earthquakes are connected to the mind. Same thing with severe weather. So what's going on in Switzerland? Because it's always raining. <laughs> you guys need to get more happy. Maybe we're helping. This makes it very likely that our consciousness can directly affect the earth. So is it really doom and gloom? Or do we have more control over this than we realize? The Great Pyramid was built with a message in it for our time. We were supposed to discover that the pyramid harnessed this energy. Inside the pyramid is an open sarcophagus, and that is the symbol of no more death. The ancients would lie in the pyramid and have an out-of-body experience for three days. This energy doesn't just make you happy and healthy. It can create ascension. If you successfully complete this initiation, you now come out with ascended abilities. This appears to be what Jesus did in the missing three years. The Edgar Cayce readings said that the Aquarian gospel of Jesus the Christ was real. And in that book, it says that he completed the pyramid initiation. Napoleon tried to do the same thing. He had a very bad night. This is his drawing from what happened that night. 